part of a beach in Hatteras is closed today because of a petroleum contamination there suspected to be from Cold War era Navy infrastructure. WREL environmental reporter Liz McLaughlin joins us in studio with more, Liz. And you can see some of that infrastructure here in this photo. Officials say there are uh, pungent smells similar to a diesel smell floating across Buxton Beach today and a sheen on the water from petroleum contamination that spurred beach closures starting in September. Officials closed an additional part of the beach in recent days due to the contamination, including the Buxton Beach access near the end of Lighthouse Road. High surf and strong waves have eroded the sand to reveal this infrastructure from a former Navy and Coast Guard facility. The closed section of the beach now covers three-tenths of a mile. Officials have issued a precautionary public health advisory due to impacts from petroleum-contaminated soils that have leached into the groundwater. And the Army Corps of Engineers is continuing to uh, monitor that from a long-term perspective, and they have done some remediation of that groundwater. Um, so we've been requesting that they take a good hard look at what we've been seeing and address uh, the additional observations and potential sources of, of petroleum contamination that we've been seeing. Officials with the Cape Hatteras National Seashore say they are waiting to hear about that evaluation from the Army Corps and a determination of whether or not this will be something they will address. There will be a public meeting tonight at 6 p.m. at the Fessenden Center in Buxton. All right, Liz McLaughlin live in studio. Thanks, Liz.